Danielle Collins versus Victoria Azarenka was the third quarter final for the Rome Masters for 2024. Both ladies have done really well to get to this stage. Azarenka started the tournament as the number 24 seed. We're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Lynette. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 6 7, 6 4, 6 3. In the third round, she take on Sharif, who had just beaten Paulini in the previous round. And after dropping the second set, Azarenka would win in three. 6 2, 6 7, 6 3. In the fourth round, she take on Maria Zachary, the number five seed, who had just beaten last year's finalist Kalanina in the previous round. And this was a breeze, with Azarenka destroying Zachary, 6 4, 6 1, to advance to the quarterfinals. Collins entered the tournament as the number 13 seed. I'm going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Blinkova. And after winning the first set, Blinkova rolled her ankle and was unable to continue, giving Collins the win, 6 4, retirement. In the third round, she take on the number 22 seed, Garcia, who is very capable on the clay. There's no problem for Collins getting through in straights, 6 3, 6 3. In the fourth round, she take on Bagu, who had just beaten Mertens in the previous round. And again, no problems for Collins getting through in straights, 6 love, 6 3. We've advanced to the quarterfinals. These two have only played twice before with this head to head split down the middle 1 1. They haven't played in over five years. Last time being a win for Azarenka back in Acapulco in 2019. So, it's been a long time since these two have played, and also they haven't played on clay either. So, basically, just a new matchup starting from scratch. If Azarenka's going to win this one, she needs to take the baseline away from Collins and make her run a little bit more because Collins loves to stand on the baseline, just hit winners. And if she's on the move, it's a little bit harder for her to do that. So, Azarenka's got to do that and also serve well if she's going to win this one. If Collins is going to win this one, she needs to take over that baseline and make Azarenka move. It's going to be a battle of the baselines on this one because both ladies love to control the baseline and try and hit winners. And Collins is also going to keep her emotions in check as well because sometimes she can get a little angry, especially when the crowd's involved. She's got to keep that out of her head. Really interesting matchup. Haven't played for such a long time, but they've been around for a long, long time as well. So this is going to be really fun, but I have to go with Collins in this one in a three set. I'll give Azarenka a set, but Collins is so good right now. And she's on fire in her final season, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the semis.